Hey guys, it is Mugs. Uh, what's up? Merry Chris Mugs Day 7. How exciting. Uh, I thought we could actually celebrate this seventh day of Chris Mugs a little bit differently. Um, I thought we could celebrate with seven questions answered. So that's right, I'm going to answer seven questions that you guys submitted to me via the comment section in my Chris Mugs channel announcement video. Um, so if you guys want to go back and read your question again, you can, but I'm going to read them all here. There were seven people who submitted a question, and I'm going to read them uh, from bottom to top. So here we go, starting with the first question at the bottom of the page, or near the bottom, um, from Super Pikmin Bros. Why is the me that is in your profile picture not the same as the one you use in Mario Kart? Merry Chris Mugs, everyone. Great question, uh, SPB. Really, really solid question. And the answer to that is that now they should match. Unless I'm confused, but I'm pretty sure they match now. And, and the reason you may have noticed uh, a period of time in which they didn't match, well, that was just because I was doing sort of a rebrand here on my YouTube channel, which you might have noticed. I added a banner. Uh, thank you, Chom, by the way, for helping with all this stuff. That included changing my profile picture and updating my me in the game. So while I was doing that, I, uh, I forgot to change the me in the game to the correct me. <laughs> so for a while I was racing as my old me, which is back when I had more of a beard and longer hair and stuff. And, uh, you know, I kind of updated it to shorter hair, even though I have a little bit of scruff now, I, I'll probably shave it soon. So, you know, I'm more, I'm typically more clean shaven now. So that's what prompted the change in the me. And the answer was, I just, I forgot for a little bit, uh, but it should match now. Great question. All right, the next question, we've got question number two, this way, from the dude. Hi, Mary Mugs. My question is, do you have a rug to really tie your room together? That is a great question. Uh, very, very dude-like. And my answer is, I actually used to have a rug that really did tie my room together. And it wasn't stolen or anything like that. What happened is we got a kitten and that kitten, Gibdo, as you know him now, um, uh, unfortunately did some business on that rug, which was a, a tragedy. So we had to get rid of the rug. And, and actually, we've never replaced it. We have never gotten a replacement rug. Rugs are complicated. You've got to take care of them and make sure your cat doesn't go to the bathroom on them. I mean, it's just a lot of work. It's, see, rugs are a hassle. Let me just say that. You, you know, I, I can't be worried about that shit. You know, life goes on, man. That's all I have to say. All right, next question. We have question number three. I always miss, miss the camera. Question number three from Chom. Also, my question is, what made you want to start a YouTube channel? And what's been your favorite part so far? So that's a really good question, Chom. Um, definitely one that I think deserves answering and so let me let me answer it the best I can here and I actually have to give a shout out to another channel Xander although his YouTube channel name is X and ZR all together lowercase um, and he posted a while back an MK8 snipe compilation and that was right when I really started getting into sniping is when I discovered that video and I just loved it. I, I rewatched that snipe compilation so many times. I, I think I know it better than my own snipe compilations. I think I, I could tell you, you know, which snipe is coming up next, you know, given, given the previous snipe. Um, I, I kind of, kind of obsessed about that video and, and he's a really good player and it's MK8. So there's a lot of like fire hopping and demon sliding and stuff, which also just looked really cool and kind of got me more into the technical side of the game and just curious about Mario Kart, and basically, I said, I want to do that. I want to make a snipe compilation. I want to make a really long, epic snipe compilation. And that's my first video was 20 minutes of epic MK8 DX snipes. And looking back at it, you know, I, certainly my driving has improved a lot. Um, and, and the snipes, you know, there were some really good ones in there. And, and, and you know, I think it, it was a fun way to begin. It, you know... I didn't ever imagine streaming, really. I didn't ever imagine that my editing skills would get to the point so quickly that I could be doing, and my driving skills as well, that I could be doing MK Classroom vids 
and, and all the other stuff that I do. I never really intended on that. I kind of just thought, hey, I'll make some snipe compilations and maybe do a couple other compilations and, you know, a couple quick clips and it'll be just something I put a little bit of time into and don't, you know, I don't expect much out of it. But then my friend Big Egg sent me some streaming stuff, so, I, so shout out to Big Egg, and he gave me some help on uh, getting started with OBS. And then I was like, hey, I have this stuff, I have the channel, why don't I try, you know, streaming? And so I just did, and it, it, it's been really fun. It, it's kind of kept me around YouTube and, and made me put a lot more time into it and, and get a lot more into it in general than I think I otherwise would have if I was just still just making compilations or something. So that is a great question, and Chom double-dipped on the questions, but we're counting them as one, one question. The second part is, what's been your favorite part so far? And the end of my last answer segues into this, which is the streaming. And that's mostly because of you guys out there. I, and, and I really mean it. It's You guys make every single stream, or if I'm just playing with you online, or, or if we're just exchanging comments, whatever it is, you make it so fun. First off, you guys are insanely talented. I, I think that goes for every one of you. You're all really good racers. So that's a blast. And, and you're just awesome people. Great to chat with on stream. Very competitive, but friendly. I, I feel like it's, it's you know, just, just the best. I, I, I couldn't be... I, I mean, like I said, I never would have imagined that my streaming would become like a, a big part or a part at all of my YouTube channel. I just... It, it just kind of happened, and it's been the best part, and I owe it to you guys. Thank you again uh, for coming and checking out my channel in the first place and sticking around and joining my streams and racing against me. It's a blast. I appreciate it, guys. So, And I appreciate that question, Chom. Very good question. Let's move on. All right, question number four. You think I would learn? Um, <laughs> uh, mugs, and this is from G.I. Jose. At what tier would you place GCN Sherbetland right now during the Chris Muggs holidays? Now that's a great question. Um, so, you know, if you're newer to the channel, you might not know I'm not a big fan of Sherbetland. It's uh, right down there with Turd's Tone Pike uh, for, you know, you know and, and Dolphin Shoals and Cheap Cheap Beach for my least favorite tracks. And so, you know, I, I gotta be honest though, it is the holidays. And Sherbet Land is more festive than those other tracks. And, and it's got that going for it. So what I'm going to say is, you know what? Because I'm feeling the holiday spirit within, I'm going to give Sherbet Land three ice skating shy guys. Um, just three ice skating shy guys. I, I, I have no idea what that means in terms of quality of the track. It, it's not out of a certain number of them. It's just three of them. So there you go. All right, next question. Question number five. <laughs> mm, tricky camera. Um, okay, but what is nine times three? Looking forward to what's in store. Merry Chris Muggs and a Happy New Year soon from UDUC, who you may have noticed she made an appearance sniping in my last uh, compilation video, including some snipes of me which was painful, uh, but, but you know what? They were well-earned. Um, and, and this is a, 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 a great question. I mean, in that video, you may remember me saying you could ask me this. Or I guess it could be totally non-Mario Kart related. It could be what's nine times two, uh, and I'll tell you it's 18. Well, basically this question is upping the difficulty. I don't know by how much, but it's... It's complicated. The way I like to do it is I like to take 9, multiply it by 2, which we know is 18, times it by 5, divide it by 3, multiply it by 8, uh, take the integral with respect to x of a different function that uh, explains all of physics in one equation, and then I take the square root of that, uh, multiply it by pi, and it should give you the answer, which is... 27. All right, next question. We've got a question from Thumb SP. Happy holidays, mugs. And my question is, what got you into Mario Kart? And that is also an excellent question. I believe that was question... Wrong way. 
<laughs> I'm not going to get it by seven. I'll, I'll try one more time, but I'm never going to get it. Um, <laughs> uh, but that's question six. And it's a great question and really gets to the fundamentals of and the foundation of why I have this channel. I mean, because if I never got into Mario Kart, I would probably never have this channel. I mean, maybe I would have some other channel, but it wouldn't be this this kind of channel. So that's a good question. That That really gets to the core of everything. And the answer is simple. When I was a kid, my parents got me a Super Nintendo. Well, not me, that, you know, me and my siblings and the family. And uh, part of that uh, bundle of games we got for that system was Super Mario Kart. And, you know, I didn't get as into Super Mario Kart as I did into Mario Kart 64, but I enjoyed the heck out of it. I played that game a ton. I wasn't very good at it. I remember me and my brother would try to beat the Special Cup on 150cc, and Donut Plane 3 was just a monster of a way to start. It just always got you. But it was a ton of fun. I, I, in battle mode, I'll, rem I'll always remember battling, uh, and, and there was this one beach sort of track where you could jump up into the these little, like, segmented, uh, closed-off sections, and you needed a feather to jump the walls to get to them. And, uh, we would get all the items outside, and then somebody would jump in there with the last feather you could get, and just sit in there and, and make the other person wait for, for as long as they wanted. You couldn't do anything about it. That's the beauty of Super Nintendo games. And so that really got it kicked off. And then, uh, you know, N64 came out, got Mario Kart 64, and that's where it just sort of cemented itself as a, as a game that I'm always going to be into, I guess, because I loved uh, Mario Kart 64. I got really pretty good at it, and, you know, maybe in the early 2000s this is, maybe 2010 even, you know, I, as a retro game, still playing it. Um, I got pretty good at it. I haven't played it a lot lately, uh, but I, I have fond memories of that one as well. And then it just continued on through the Wii, really through the home systems, the Wii, the Wii U, uh, also the GameCube, don't want to forget Double Dash, up, up until, you know, where we are today with me having Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. But yeah, it, it, it was just kind of chance. My parents thought it looked cute and fun. I liked Mario games. We gave it a try, and it was a hit. So that's that. All righty. Question number seven. I did it wrong again! No! Question number seven. Oh my goodness. Question number seven? Just look at the camera mugs. Question seven. Don't look at the screen. Okay. Anyway. Question number seven from Pipcat. Merry Chris Mugs. Mugs, what other games would you be interested in streaming? That is a good question, and it's actually something that I feel like I could respond to with a question to close out this, the questions. But, before I do that, uh, and answer your question, Pipcat, I just want to say that, you know, you might have noticed this guy right here, this star guy, and that is a new addition. It was a gift from Pipcat, so thank you, Pipcat. Uh, you also get a shout out. You're making the set uh, look better. And I could be more grateful. It's an awesome addition. I love it. It'll be a regular. So let's go. And, and, and then to your question. What other games? And like I was saying, I kind of want to answer that question with a question. What games would you guys be interested in seeing? Because because I'm, I'm willing to be pretty flexible. I like a lot of games. I'll give you my ideas, of course. I mean, Metroid Dread I'm going to get for Christmas as a gift. So that's a game that I think might be interesting to stream. If people are into Metroid Dread and would want to watch somebody play that, let me know. Smash Brothers is something that I keep wanting to get back into but keep not doing. But if you guys want to see that, let me know. Super Mario Part or Mario Party Superstars, I think I got that right, is the new one. Mario Party Superstars, I think. I, I, I have that now, so maybe maybe that's something that I could play and stream. And, and like I said, if you guys have any other suggestions... Let me know in the comments. Those are probably my top three go-tos right now. And I, I'm also a big Hollow Knight fan. And if Silk Song ever comes out, fingers crossed, then I will uh, play the heck out of that and maybe I'll stream some Silk Song. But who knows when that day will come. But yeah, let me know what other games you guys would be interested in. That's just a short list for me. Uh, there's tons of games out there probably that I don't even know of that I'd love. So, so let me know. And yeah, that's seven questions answered. That, this was really fun for me to do. I hope you guys had fun submitting a question and getting an answer to it. 
it, it, it's a nice relaxing video for me to do, so I appreciate that. It, it, it's a simple day of Chris mugs, um, the seventh day. So I'll see you for day eight, where we have another video coming, something different. And yeah, look forward to day eight of Chris mugs. I, sh I surely do. And until then, take care and bye bye <laughs>